Richard Maiderly hit out at a climate activist on Tuesday's Good Morning Britain as he accused M25 protesters of being fascist. Richard Maiderly and Susanna Reid invited Insulate Britain activist Liam Norton on to Tuesday's Good Morning Britain to discuss the recent M25 protest. The ITV presenter accused Norton and protesters like him of being fascist for justifying the protest despite it possibly endangering the lives of those who were stuck in traffic. Explaining Insulate Britain's motives, Norton said, Sir David King the scientific advisor to the British government has said, what we do in the next three to four years will determine the future of humanity. Now you're an intelligent person Richard can you read between the lines of what three to four years will determine to the future of humanity means. And you're an intelligent person who's admitting that you're not clairvoyance, maidenly hit back. Can you explain to me the parent of a seven-year-old child who has an absolutely critical hospital appointment to deal with the potential terminal cancer that could save their life and they find themselves sat behind one of your roadblocks for hours on end and missing that appointment? Can you justify that? I'd be furious, Norton agreed as Maiderly asked, so why are you doing it? Because as I've just said what we do in the next three to four years will determine the future of humanity, he argued. Maiderly said, can I give you a definition of something? Tell me what you think about it, you're an intelligent person so tell me what you think. A tendency towards an actual exercise of strong autocratic or dictatorial control over individuals or severe social regimentation, forcible suppression of the opposition and the belief that the greater cause takes precedence over individual interests. Do you know what that's a definition of? Fascism. Well I don't think it's fascist to have a demand of universal care and that's what Insulate Britain are talking about, Norton replied. What we're talking about is the best value of money for reducing emissions per pound spent, we're talking about hundreds of thousands of proper jobs, meaningful jobs. We're talking about stopping the deaths of thousands of our old people which is what happens because old age pensioners have to choose between food or heat. That's what is going on in the United Kingdom at the moment. As Maiderly interrupted Norton, the activist urged, Richard, let me finish. I'm coming in on that point because it's a perfectly good point and I've got a fair response, the host argued. Why is it reasonable in pursuit of those perfectly understandable aims and ambitions to completely risk the health, the lives and the kind of scenarios I've outlined? Why is that a price people have to pay in order to support your ambitions? It's fascism. If you want to talk about fascism it's using weak people and losing lives, Norton said. What we're talking about is a truth and that's what I'm talking about and that's what Sir David King is talking about.
What Insulate Britain is talking about is universal care and you should get the government on here, you should get the Minister for Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy and you should be asking them why it is that they're not looking after the British people's interests.